So the three questions I get asked the most often is one, is there a difference between the Mini Striker and the Ballista Bat? Two, what's my favorite bow? And three, which one shoots harder? A forward limb bow with 150 pound limbs or the reverse draw? So what is going on everybody? We are answering some questions today. I'm about on four or five days past that gallbladder surgery and I'm getting around kind of slow, but I'm getting around. It's already leaps and bounds better than what it was. Pretty sure we'll be 100% by the time deer season rolls around. So jumping right into it, the question I get asked most often is whether or not there's a difference between William Tell's striker and Ballista's bat. And the answer is no, there's no difference. They are exactly the same bow. I mean, all the parts are interchangeable. There's nothing different about these bows except for the uh, logos they print on the side. They're just branded and sold by different companies, but they are the same bow. And the question that always follows that is, well, which bow do you prefer? And it's hard to prefer one thing over another when they're exactly the same. So the best I could do is tell you which company I prefer. And these days I am all in with William Tell Archery Supplies for a couple of reasons. The first and foremost being their price points are just a little bit better. They, And I think that is because their packaging's not quite as flashy, but I'm cool with that. I'm nitty gritty. So if you can give me something a little bit cheaper, you can keep the ribbons and bows just send me the product and, and we're good to go. And the second reason I prefer William Tell Archery is I just get along real well with the owner and it's just easier to buy stuff from somebody you get along with. Now, as far as which bow I prefer, like which bow I prefer, it depends on what I'm doing. Like this is the 120 pound forward limb mini striker. And I would say that this bow is not adequate to deer hunt with. I killed a deer with this exact bow last year, but they have to be so close because, you know, deer move when they hear that string pop, you know, they duck and move and, and it's just not shooting fast enough with the heavier hunting arrows to really be adequate for deer hunting. But as far as target shooting in the yard with the kiddos or small game like squirrels and rabbits and bow fishing, let me tell you, you pair this bow up, the 120 pound bow, with them little metal arrows that they sell, and it is a bow fishing rig that is unmatched. I absolutely love to bow fish with these things. Now, when it comes to deer hunting, I prefer either the reverse draw or a forward draw bow with 150 pound limbs. Now these bows right here perform almost on an equal basis when it comes to deer hunting. Uh, the reverse draw is gonna shoot a little bit harder because it has a longer power stroke, but not so much harder that it's really making a difference when you deer hunt. I killed two deer with this bow last year and two, lim two deer with the forward facing uh, bow with 150 pound limbs. Now William Tell Archery is selling 150 pound limbs this year, so we're good to go there. I would say these bows shoot, it, they work real well for bow fishing, but they shoot just a little hard. They punch all the way through the fish and they're hitting rocks and bending arrows. And they work if you're, if you're fishing a sandy bottom area, but if you're fishing places with rocks, you're definitely gonna want the 120 pound bow. I prefer the 120 pound bow for bow fishing all the way around. You just don't need a heavy poundage bow to bow fish with. And then the last question I'm, I get quite often is which one of these shoots harder? Uh, the reverse draw with 150 pound limbs or the forward draw with 150 pound limbs? And the answer, theoretically, because I hadn't shot them across the chronograph next to each other, would be the reverse draw. The reverse draw is gonna shoot a little bit harder because it has an inch and a half longer power stroke. I've actually ordered another chronograph and I'm gonna make a video where we, we compare the forward limb bow with 150 pound limbs to the reverse draw uh, bow with 150 pound limbs head to head over a chronograph but I'm waiting for that to get in so I don't know I hope this answers y'all's questions y'all have been patient with me through this surgery and I sure appreciate that and all your prayers and deer season's just around the corner I think I'm gonna be good to go we're fixing to smoke some deer I'm quite excited about it we've got more deer here this year than I've seen in quite some time so I figure it's gonna be on quick. I have eight deer tags and that's just me. I got some cousins and my son, everybody's wanting to deer hunt. So we're gonna put some deer down this year. So, Like I said, I hope that answers y'all's questions. I really appreciate y'all watching and all your support and we'll catch you next time.